Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to publish Cucumber reports in Jenkins. We'll generate HTML reports for Cucumber executions and we'll publish them in the Jenkins. It looks like this. It'll, this is the project that I've created. And once we publish, the reports will look like this. You'll have a, how many features are executed and then how many scenarios executed, pass or fail, and then come to the same steps. So you can change different uh, details here. So that's all we wanted to have this publishing. Now coming to the steps involved for the publishing, you should have a project. You should have a project and uh, the features, step definitions, and then runner classes to execute the cases. So for a, for sample, I have a project with me, which does some REST calls and uh, execute the scenarios and then it will publish the reports. So for that, I've put it in the GitHub. From here, you can clone and then run the cases. So, I have this project, import project. It's in the Git. You provide projects from Git and clone URI. For the URI, you have this uh, URL. So, and then click on next. This is a public project so that everybody can uh, work with. And I use uh, Bharat branch. So remember to switch to the Bharat branch, click on next, and then finish. Okay. In this video, I'm not going to discuss about the details of the implementations of Cucumber. What I do is like, I'll just show you the configurations that I required for the execution. So in the pom.xml, we have a plugin to be added, which is called as Maven Cucumber Reporting. So this one has an app phase called Verify. And from here, when you run this phase, the reports will be generated in Cucumber folder of target. Okay, so once we run this, let's say run as, run configurations, and Maven build. Here you have to choose the project, what space, and goals is clean, verify, then apply, run. So it has some feature files we have, okay? The feature files, if you see, um, this employee feature, and then product feature, and then here in your step runner classes, employee runner, which generates an employee JSON file oh, in Cucumber folder, target Cucumber folder, and then product runner, which generates target Cucumber product.json. So these are the two JSON files that it generates after the execution. So I've completed the execution, build is success. Let me show you the files. So showing system explorer. Here you can see the target folder. And inside the target folder, there is a folder called Cucumber. Cucumber, you see two uh, files, employee JSON and then product JSON. So what we need to do is from these two JSON files, we have to fetch the report and then generate the HTML report. So that's what we have mentioned in here. So we get all the JSON files, the output HTML files will be uh, provided in the same Cucumber folder. So let me show you how it looks like. So once the execution is completed, this is the HTML that we have generated. One with. So this is how it has been generating the reports that we have in the Cucumber. Okay, 
So apart from that, there is this another one, which we wanted to publish is this report. See, it, it generates like how many cases passed, how many failed, and then skip. All this information will be reported. So this file that we wanted to publish into the Jenkins. Okay, so now the code is available. This code is available in uh, stable branch, whatever we executed that is in stable branch and uh, in the repository, which is available in GitHub. Okay, these two things that are already available. So now you should have an uh, Jenkins server started in your local where you can there are few prerequisites you have to set for this, which is uh, JDK and Maven. Okay, so if you started Java already, setting up JDK and Maven is mandatory. So that can be done in global tool configuration. So you can do it in different different ways. So in JDK, what you need to do is you just need to provide the Java home. This is Mac, that's why I have given Mac uh, path. But if it is Windows, you should have uh, where your bin folder of Maven, that path you have to keep here. And similarly, sorry, Java home, Java path has to be given, Java bin folder. And the similar thing, either you can install automatically or you can give uh, Maven home path, which is available in your uh, system. Okay, these are the two prerequisites. Along with that, you have to install a plugin which is called as Cucumber Reports. So that can be available in available folder. So Cucumber okay. so, in available you can see Cucumber Reports and here have to check that and install without restart. So it will install the Cucumber plugin, which is responsible for publishing your reports. So it will take a couple of seconds or minutes. So it has been installed and go back to your Jenkins form. Here you need to create a new project, a new job, which runs the uh, Selenium automation or API automation or any other uh, BDD automation that you have okay, to which generates the reports. Let's say for example, I'm giving some OPS. Uh, it's my project name. So click on OK. Then uh, all other details I'm just ignoring or which are essential for this, I'm just adding them. So source code management, I have the code available in this repository. Okay, so And this is the repository and the credentials are not required. It's a public and it's not master that we have the branch that we have is in stable and build triggers. I don't want to run any schedulers and in the build section. What you can do is you can, you have to run the Maven uh, targets here, which generates the, which executes the test cases and generates the report. So invoke top level Maven targets. So Maven version, so if you add any custom installation there, that name will uh, comes in this drop down. I have given Maven 3 and the goals will be clean, which deletes the previous target and then verify, which runs the test cases and then publish the report. Okay, so it generates the report. Now in the post build actions, you have to publish See, publishing the reports uh, is like you have Cucumber reports here. Now, Cucumber reports uh, in advance, you have to provide the JSON reports path or file include pattern. So, which files that you want to include uh, for this report generation. So, you don't need to provide all the JSONs that are available. You have to provide only these two JSON files which I've shown you. For the report generation. 
where they are available they are available in target cucumber folder okay so what i do is the file report path is target slash cucumber so inside that you will have these files and uh, all the other uh, changes are not uh, required by you so actually what this uh, the shows will give us is the control when your test case or uh, test job is passed or failed or uh, unstable the criteria that you can mention it here okay so the sorting order or other configuration details can be given here so apply save now when i run it first time it will clone the code and then it execute the test cases and then publish the reports it will take a couple of minutes let's wait execution is completed we will verify that whether the execution is completed or not properly so for that you can go to the console output and check the things see if you have any issues like maven configurations or uh, your uh, repository configurations it gives some issues see uh, i'll get some passes some failures because my uh, the application is up and running in my system so you might not get that uh, scenario so all my cases might get failed but this uh, finally so total 11 executed five failed so these are uh, test ng reports which we don't want it okay we need uh, cucumber reports so those reports can be come here see cucumber reports now if you click on that it will give you the latest results so this is how you can publish the cucumber reports into jenkins job